What's up everybody, it's your girl Hannah and welcome back to this week's video. Now, as you guys all know, I am a massive concert addict, there's no other way to put it. I am in love with concerts. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a video on things to take to a concert. Now, I know a lot of you guys already know this, but there's some people out there who have zero clue what to actually take to a concert. So that's where this video comes in handy. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's jump right in. Okay, now I've broken these up into four sections. The first section is your absolute essentials. The things you 100% need when you're going to a concert. Now, that is obviously a ticket. Now this is an Ed Sheeran ticket from the other night. So this is what you need. This is your lifeline. This is exactly the thing that is going to get you through the night. You can't go to a concert without your ticket. It's just not a thing. And then on top of that, you will need your Opal card. Or if you guys aren't from New South Wales, it's like your travel card where you tap on and tap off. This is also essential along with some money. I only have $5. Obviously you need more than $5 to go to a concert because merch is about $50 nowadays. Yeah, I'm not talking about getting food, I'm talking about buying merch because let's be real, that's where all of our priorities are at. Usually a good idea to have your license on you as well, just in case they ask for ID, which a lot of times they do now. And as well as your phone, you're going to need this trusty, beautiful lifeline of a power bank. Now, I have small ones as well, but this is the one that I've literally been able to charge my phone for 24 hours, as long as my phone is off. So, I highly, highly recommend bringing a power bank. It may weigh you down a bit, but that's okay. That, that doesn't matter, because at the end of the night, this is going to be your life. Right? Okay, so that brings me to my next section, which is your bag. Now, it really depends how far you have to travel to get to the concert. If you're anything like me, you have to travel about two hours to get to your main city, and that's annoying, to say the least, because you don't know what to pack. If you're driving up there, it's not too bad, because you can just leave things in the car. To catch the train like I normally do, then you need to think ahead and you need to be smart about this. Now, concerts and arenas and stadiums and venues nowadays don't let you take in a bag that is anything bigger than an A4 piece of paper, which is completely understandable. Unless it is see-through, they don't let you take anything else in. So, my go-to bags that I usually take to concerts are my Mimco. It's the perfect size get my power bank in and honestly it is just it just stays on my wrist and I can just have a good night but if I am going somewhere that I have to leave like I, I'm going on a train then this is my next option it is just the right size it only has one compartment which is what they care about the most and it just goes over my book like so Honestly, it is so useful. I took it to Ed the other night and it was amazing. It was the perfect bag. I was still able to jump around. I was still able to have a good day and really that's all that matters. Okay, so here are the list of things that you're going to need in your bag. You're going to need some touch-up makeup. Now, that's only if you wore makeup to start off with and you don't want to look like a zombie when you're walking out of your venue. Which, let's be real, we all do anyway, but some people don't particularly like that idea so if you're one of those people then you'll need some touch-up makeup you'll also need a brush because if you're gonna fix your makeup you may as well fix your hair at the same time you're going to need some tissues why because when you see the artist for the first time it's gonna be way too emotional and you're probably just gonna end up in tears because they're actually perfect and they're standing right in front of you so tissues are a definite go-to Along with tissues, band-aids. Now, this is something that we usually all forget. I've been guilty of forgetting this so many times, but majority of the time you need band-aids for your shoes and your heels, but it comes in handy. It's, it's all something that everybody needs, but we all forget. So if you're that person that takes band-aids to a concert, then thank you, because you saved the lives of all of us band girls in the process. Alrighty, so, that brings me on to the third thing that you are definitely going to need when you go to a concert, and that's clothing. Now, obviously, 
that goes without saying, but a lot of people struggle with trying to find the right thing to wear to a concert. So that's where I come in. Now, my go-to shoes are always my black Converse. They are comfortable, they are suitable because they're in closed shoes, and I know I can jump around in them. I don't recommend wearing heels to a concert unless you already live in heels. And if you do wear heels, please make sure they're wedges and not stilettos because you can't jump around and have a good night in stilettos, they'll just kill your feet. Now, the next thing obviously is comfortable clothing. I tend to wear play suits to concerts when, even when it's in winter, because obviously when you're dancing, you're having fun, you're gonna get really hot. And play suits are the go-to. They're cute, they're comfortable, and you don't have to worry about anything with them. Now, if you're not a play suits type of person, and if it's a bit colder where you guys are, I do recommend jeans. Now, again, it'll be really hot in them, but if you can, if you're comfortable enough to wear jeans, which I have to so many concerts, then do so, because you also have to think about what the weather's gonna be like when you're leaving the venue, and what it's gonna be like when you're waiting outside the venue. There are so many different aspects you have to think about when you're going to a concert, it is ridiculous. But either wear some jeans, shorts, or if you're gonna wear a skirt, make sure it's not a flowy skirt, tighter one that's comfortable for you. But definitely my ideal outfit is a play suit. It is 100% the go-to for me. Now that brings me onto your hair. Now, as a lot of us girls struggle with, we have no idea what to do with our hair for a concert. You make it look good and then you need to think about what it's going to be like when you're jumping around and it's just going to be ruined. So I recommend either having your hair up in a cute style or having it just out and then when you get too hot being able to just pin it back nicely and not worry too much about it because at the end of the day, you're all there having a good time anyway. Doesn't particularly matter what you look like as long as you're having fun. Now, you guys are probably all wondering what the fourth section is that I have for the things you need for a concert. Now, that is your patience. You do not be one of those people that stands there and keeps looking at their watch going, oh, the gates are meant to open at 4.30. Oh, it is now 4.35, they're late. Don't be one of those people. Concerts never run on time. It's just a known fact. It doesn't happen on time. And if you're one of those people, please adjust your attitude for the day because you're just ruining the day for everybody else. And yes, if you're joking about it and being like, oh, you know, you're a bit late there, it's 4.31, then by all means, that's fine because you're joking around. But you always get those people that are just very accurate with it and it frustrates everybody else. So please do not be that person. Another thing you're gonna need is your fun side. You can't just be sitting there if you have seats and just sit down during your concert and then go on your phone every now and again. That's not what a concert's about. It's about getting up, enjoying yourself, having a good time, making new friends that you'll probably never see again, and just enjoying the music, if that's what it's all about. So please bring your fun side to a concert, otherwise you'll get frowned upon by everyone else in there. All right, so the last thing, the very, very last thing what I think is the most important, besides your ticket, is leaving all your negativity at home. Now, we all have problems in our lives. We all have down days. But when it comes to concerts, please try and leave that negativity at home and just have a good time. All right, so that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a massive thumbs up. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. Let me know other things that you guys take to a concert. Let me know concerts that you've been to or concerts that you'd love to go to. Now, I'll speak to you all next week. I love you all so much. Bye, guys.